afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Toward Metal Processing 4.0 Level Up Your Production with Smart Solution Webinar. It is my pleasure to be the host for today's webinar. My name is Nur Farhana, and I will be your MC for today. On behalf of FMM and Taiwan Excellence, we appreciate all of you for taking your time off your busy schedule to join us today. We hope this webinar brings informative and fruitful information to you. Before we get started, I would like to go over the housekeeping rules for today's webinar. Firstly, book in your questions into the q and box at the bottom middle of the screen. Name yourself and submit your questions at any time during the presentation. We will collect and address them during the q and session at the end of today's presentation. Secondly, your active participation is always welcome. Thirdly, kindly ensure your comments are relevant to the topic of discussion. Last but not least, you will be receiving recording of today's webinar after completing the feedback form. At the end of today's webinar, we will be sharing a QR code and also a link of the feedback form. We are looking forward to hear your feedback. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Helena, Vice Chairman of Industry 4.0 and Digital Economy Working Committee of FMM to say a few words. Ms. Eva Peng, Director of Taiwan Trade Center Kuala Lumpur, distinguished speakers, FMM members. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to welcome all of you to attend today's web webinar entitled Toward Metal Processing 4.0 Webinar. Level up your production with smart solutions. First and foremost, I would like to thank Taiwan Excellence for organizing the webinar today. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the challenges the world faced from COVID-19, the pandemic has definitely pushed most businesses to incorporate technology into their operations. Traditional supply chains and manufacturing ecosystems have become obsolete and require improvement to be more adaptable, agile, and digitally enabled. This journey towards digitalization and smart automation requires sufficient resources ranging from human capital to capital investments. To embark on this journey, manufacturers are required to prepare a lot of fine tuning to their operations or even anticipate failing and learn from the failures and continue to fine tune. Modern manufacturing is looking promising with all the intelligence that comes with digital technology advances. Why capitalizing on generations of previous experience? The pace of change and the rates of production are increasingly exponentially, and this is happening right now. When we talk about the future of manufacturing, Industry 4.0 and Smart Manufacturing take center stage. And with the pace of production changing so rapidly, we will see more and more people being employed in development, design, and uh, design data analysis, and R&D. The technological revolution is accelerating new ideas and, and opportunities that can serve all manner of business markets and workers. This is how value and competitive advantage are created and sustained. Ladies and gentlemen, in seeking to accelerate rapid digital transformation within manufacturing and its related service sector in Malaysia, the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, MITI, has introduced the industry forward. The National Policy on Industry 4.0 on 31st October 2018. The Industry Forward Policy provides an agile framework that is set to remain relevant in the future and in four specific overarching goals. Number one, drive continuous growth in manufacturing GDP. Number two, increase national productivity. Number three, create high skill employment opportunities and lastly, raise innovation capabilities and competitiveness. 
The Industry Forward Readiness Assessment uh, RA program is among the initiatives taken under this industry forward policy to ensure the adoption of Industry 4.0 technologies among SMEs. As of October 2022, a total of 1,268 companies have been approved to join the Industry Forward Readiness Assessment uh, RA program. In fact, fabricated metal is listed as the third highest subsector under this RA program, apart from Malaysia, I believe that similar support for Industry 4.0 has also been initiated by the government of Taiwan. This indicates that Taiwan is well positioned to take the leading role in Industry 4.0 development and implementation. I hope that there will be more Malaysia Taiwan collaboration and collaborative efforts in the future to create awareness towards Industry 4.0, especially smart manufacturing. Before I end my speech today, I would like to express my deepest appreciation for the speakers today. They are Mr. Paul Chang of Buffalo Machinery Company Limited, and uh, number two, Mr. Leong Huang of Asisco Precision Machinery Company Limited, and Ms. Juno Wang of Honor Seiki Company Limited. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the participants today for attending this webinar. I hope that the knowledge and experience to be imparted by the speakers today will be of great value to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Helena, for that wonderful remark. Next, I would like to welcome uh, Ms. Eva Peng, Director of Taiwan Trade Center Kuala Lumpur, to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Helena Yang Yun Lang, Vice Chairman of FAN Industry 4.0 and the Digital Economy Working Committee. Industrial professionals, media, and all online friends. On behalf of the Taiwan Trade Center Kuala Lumpur, it is my pleasure to represent the Taiwan athletes and welcome you to join today's webinar. The bilateral relationship between Taiwan and the Malaysia is very close. The trade volume reached 27.6 billion US dollars in 2021, an annual increase of nearly 26%, making Taiwan the fifth largest trade partner of Malaysia. Famous for my their high accuracy, quality, and durability. Taiwan's metal processing machines are widely used in the automotive and the electronics manufacturing industry. With the strong support of Taiwan Advanced ICT industry, Taiwan's smart manu uh, machinery successfully integrates automated production lines and advanced high-end procedures and the response to manufacturing transformation change. Malaysia is an important production hub for the automotive and electronic manufacturing in Southeast Asia, and the E6 for advanced metal working solutions to keep its competitive age. Taiwan's metal processing enterprises specialize in customized, automated, and intelligent manufacturing to help optimize production and upgrade the industry. They also have the mobility and the flexibility to produce high precision, high tech, and the high value added products at a reasonable price. With the advantages, Taiwan is able to be the best partner of Malaysia. Today, three Taiwan Athletes Award winners I sell Cisco and Honor Psyche are here to share their total solutions during the webinar. I believe that both parties will build a deeper relationship on new solution cooperation. In addition to this webinar, I would also to like to invite all of you to attend Taiwan International Intelligent Manufacturer Show 
the show focus on system integration, data analysis, and uh, information security. And it's scheduled for November 23rd to 26th, 2022 at the ICC in Tainan, Taiwan. Finally, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to you for joining today's webinar. If you have any requests about Taiwan machinery, please feel free to contact our office for more information. I wish everyone the best and the health and the prosperous business. Thank you. Terima kasih. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Eva Peng, for that wonderful remark. Today, Taiwan Excellence has brought three companies to deliver their presentation. First, let me introduce the first speaker for today, Dr. Paul Chang from Buffalo Missionary Company Limited to deliver his uh, presentation. Good afternoon, distinguished speaker from uh, the Federation of uh, Malaysian Manufacturer and also Mr. Peng from uh, Taitra, Kuala Lumpur. My name is Paul Chang. It's my honor to share the Axile Digital Intelligent Automation with you today. That's about me. And uh, uh, since uh, 2013, the uh, revolution of uh, Industry 4 being announced we all believe that uh, the long term for machine tool industry is really the most important reliability. And then uh, the machine got to be digital intelligent automation. And uh, based on the TQM system, then if we do the 4.0 industry revolution, then uh, we will be able to have a perfect outfall output uh, of the uh, performance. Of course, right now, it, the whole global are facing to the energy and also the carbon uh, emission issue. So how energy transition is going to perform in the 4.0 is going to be the point that I would like to share with you also today. Now, if we look at uh, the uh, slide, uh, we can see this is a typical figure. Uh, now for all these machine has been linked to uh, industry 4.0. And these are all monitored by a uh, different kind of sensor. And where this data has been converted into a uh, same level and then shared to uh, the uh, uh, PC based uh, inverter. So uh, this uh, device will be able to share with the uh, management and uh, with such kind of uh, operation, you will have to run under OPC UA, which is operating by UMATI. And uh, if the uh, user, they will share the data to uh, the platform, then they, we will be able to get uh, the uh, information update uh, and then provide a better service for the equipment. So here uh, to uh, share you uh, more why we have to have uh, 4.0. And uh, the, re the real reason is that uh, this is going to benefit the manufacturer itself. For example, a manufacturer, they have uh, several factory in one city or several factory in several city or many factory in global. Um, they still can able, they will be able to still use uh, one management from the headquarter and then to run all the machine uh, operation. And here is a very important uh, basic rule that uh, you have to make sure that uh, the design of the machine, uh, which is uh, performed by ANSYS, has to meet the exactly performance of uh, the uh, frequency response. You want to make sure that uh, the design and uh, the real machine uh, perform the exactly vibration. So uh, you can have uh, uh, exactly output of uh, the original design. 
And this slide is to show you how we monitor all the condition of the machine. Here you can see we have several different kinds of monitor and because of different condition in the machines. So uh, all the output of the sensor is going to be all different. And then you will need this analyzer to convert the signal into the uh, same uh, platform. So you will be able to share to OPC way, as I mentioned before. And uh, just to give you detail of how we monitor the products, um, not only the CNC data, but also liquid and wearing unit, we all monitor. And then after that, all this kind of signal will be converted uh, into uh, the same output. Then uh, based on the uh, simulation regulation, we put uh, half G and one G as uh, acceleration uh, speed. And then uh, uh, we get uh, one uh, uh, formula, which is uh, to stand for MTBF. Uh, but this is still the simulation. And, and then we will have to do long term of uh, uh, experiment. At the end, uh, we can say uh, the MTBF is for certain hours, for example, 4,000 or 5,000 hours. This is uh, to tell the client that uh, uh, in the automation mode, he will be able to run the machines uh, continuously without any uh, headache. And uh, come back to uh, the platform, just to uh, let uh, uh, all of you understand that uh, the OPC web platform is really go global. So if a client, they use uh, this platform, and the machine also provide to join that uh, you will be able to sell the products to such kind of uh, equipment. Of course, the most important is uh, uh, the factory is going to use uh, digital management and then uh, he needs such kind of uh, platform. So why uh, we have to use uh, the platform? Let me uh, tell you step by step. Uh, to use uh, this step form, you will, you will be able to see first that uh, for all the machine and the monitor, uh, you know the condition of the machine uh, exactly. And then the second level, you will be see exactly the figure of uh, uh, the number from all the signal coming out uh, from the monitor. Yeah, here is also to tell you that uh, uh, under such a system, uh, it is uh, uh, a Wi-Fi system. So you will be able to see from your laptop, from uh, iPad, uh, or from your mobile phone. And under this case, the management can see the condition of his uh, production area anytime, uh, whenever he wants. So come down to uh, the uh, art system. Uh, this is the, the name of uh, the 4.0 uh, analyzer that, that we call art. And uh, uh, the current version gives uh, 10 different function of uh, the art. And uh, of course, the, you will be able to know uh, all the condition that uh, you may like to know. For example, the components uh, diagnosis, uh, lifetime uh, estimation and uh, uh, consumable situation and power consumption, utilization. And the most important is, of course, uh, the machine is going to carry all the information for the management to do uh, his uh, management based on the data, based on the information carried out from uh, the platform. And uh, uh, it is uh, uh, the, uh, uh, how uh, the, the platform looks like. For example, lifetime, uh, it is going to show uh, to the uh, user how long uh, that uh, the machine is going to run uh, continuously. And then uh, uh, for the other function, uh, for example, like uh, a maintenance schedule, whenever there is one component going out, uh, we will be able to see from the table and then we can make the appointment with the service technician. So without any downtime, we can do a proper service. 
here uh, is uh, one of uh, the information that we catch from one of the user, and he used uh, G6 uh, five axis machines. And uh, from uh, the, the data, from the information, we see that uh, the client is not really using the machine very stable. For example, each axis uh, loaded of uh, the current is going up and down all the time. This is uh, not uh, always uh, the best way to save uh, the energy. I'm going to explain to you uh, why is this way. And here is to let you uh, make sure that uh, the machine is under proper lubrication condition. We know that uh, uh, when the machine is running without the lubrication such as this area, uh, machine is going to give some kind of uh, heat problem and also tolerance problem. So with this kind of monitor system, you know condition of the machine exactly anytime. And this is uh, also from uh, the other machine that uh, we can see that uh, the spindle energy, he is also not uh, using under very stable situation. Uh, of course, uh, it may be because of uh, long-term experience, uh, the client using the machines, but uh, today, I'm going to share my comment with you how to save uh, the energy and also how to save uh, the carbon. So uh, with the current uh, version that uh, the machine will ensure that uh, you will be able to run 24 seven. And then also uh, the tool life prediction is under monitor. So this is uh, really under a uh, uh, very best condition of uh, the monitor unit. Um, there is no point that you don't know uh, how is the machine going to run in the following uh, 1,000 or 2,000 hours. And come down to the power consumption. This is, uh, I would like to concentrate as uh, most important today uh, because uh, after, you know, uh, from, since the uh, uh, Kyoto Protocol, uh, uh, the whole global are uh, talking about uh, the global warming issue. And uh, the issue is really coming from uh, the energy that uh, we use every day. So um, if the, one of the machine is running like this way, uh, this is a, a one week monitor. But within one week, we can see there are certain period of time that uh, the machine is really taking a lot of uh, energy. This is uh, definitely not a good way. Uh, uh, it is going to cost uh, the client a lot of money to pay the energy. So, so uh, what we do is that uh, after the monitor management will be able to go back to check if the PLC or uh, the tooling is not under a proper condition. So he can improve the situation any time if we find it. Yes, uh, energy saving and uh, carbon reduction is uh, uh, more or less the most important issue for global. We know uh, March 30 this year, EU already announced uh, the ESG regulation, which means that uh, uh, especially for machine tool industry, the energy saving become a very important issue because uh, the energy cost is equal to uh, the carbon reduction. And uh, so if uh, you are wasting too much energy while you are using the machines, in the meantime, you are going to pay a lot of carbon tax. So uh, how to use a machine at the right or at a proper uh, way is becoming the most important things. And to know the condition of the machine in time, then you have to have in-time digital information, then management will be able to control it. Here, uh, 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 this is also from uh, ISO 14955, especially for machine tool industry. It tell us that uh, the energy, the energy cost uh, is equal to the carbon emission. And if it is 1K, 1,000 kilowatt hours, it's equal by ton. And in Taiwan, according to uh, uh, the, the government in 2021, 
uh, it is uh, uh, the energy multiple by 0 0.509 is equal to tone of the uh, carbon. And uh, as far as we know, the carbon tax today is each ton 10 euro. So uh, think about uh, what's the energy waste in your factory that you need to think about uh, uh, how you save the energy and also uh, how to save uh, uh, carbon tax. Here is the equation uh, coming out uh, from, in fact, uh, from CT Johomalu. And uh, uh, from the, from the uh, equation, we can see that uh, the equipment inside of the factory is actually one of the very important issue to cost energy. So uh, just to bring this uh, uh, information to remind you that uh, the equipment you use today, you have to be able to see uh, the in-time uh, monitor uh, the energy consumption. Otherwise, uh, uh, you are going to uh, cost a lot of money. So let me bring uh, one very simple drawing to show you. As we know that uh, everybody, when they buy the machines, they are asking about the uh, uh, spindle motor, uh, the power uh, chart, and also the top chart. From the power chart, it is very easy to understand if you are running at the low, low speed, then the power consumption is very high. But if you are running at the high speed, it is a much lower power consumption. So in other words, if you have a device, you will be able to see the power consumption in time, then you will be able to adjust that and then save uh, your money. So a uh, digital system is nothing special, but it is a uh, in-time monitoring system and make sure that uh, you will be able to know the energy cost and then also save uh, your carbon. So here to share you that uh, from uh, two of the cutting, the first the rough cutting, and then after we find uh, that uh, there are some parameter of the cutting can be adjust. Then the second curve show you uh, what's the uh, energy saving. This is uh, all the energy saving. In the meantime, uh, the carbon tax can be also reduced. For example, here from six can be reduced from uh, to uh, 5.5. And then the other cut is, is the similar story. So um, uh, to have a digital machine and then you will be able to see condition of the machine in time is such an important thing. So digital is the way to go. And uh, uh, although maybe some of the country they are still not talking about the digital, but as far as I know, many of the countries such as America or China, they are talking to ask the carbon tax already next year. But if you don't have the digital machines, then you never know what kind of uh, energy you are uh, wasting. And then at the end of the month, you are going to pay a lot of carbon tax. Then uh, you never call the money back. So. To have a digital machine is the best way and uh, also uh, the long-term way that uh, uh, when you can see the new, new equipment, think about what kind of equipment you may like to have. And here is the benefit of the digital machine, no matter from uh, uh, production area or from the maintenance point of view, you will find that uh, you get lots of benefit. You will save a lot of time, the all the time you don't know machine situation. Once uh, the machine broken, you're going to call the service technician, come to check the machine, and then go back to bring the components, or maybe you have to wait a couple of weeks to get the components and then repair it. So uh, if it is a digital machine, you know which components is going down. Uh, here, as uh, we mentioned, you have a prediction uh, you have prediction uh, possibility. So uh, you will be able to know one of the components is going out in two weeks time, for example, and then you will be able to call the service technician to tell, to tell the exactly com components going out. And then you don't waste any time that uh, uh, you can use the machine continuously. 
That's my presentation today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Paul, for that um, informative presentation. Now, let me introduce our next presenter, Mr. Leon Huang, from a Cisco Precision Missionary Company Limited to deliver his presentation. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to present this topic to you. Servo virtual machines, the future is electromechanical. I'm Leon Huang, the business director of Accisco, uh, who worked in the approaching business for 12 years and with customers in more than 30 countries. Um, as Cisco was established in 1984, now the total area of the headquarters is about 5,000 square meters. Located in central Taiwan, the distance to the nearest seaport and airport is within an hour. We also have a branch office near Detroit, Michigan, and many dealers worldwide. We can build several lines together. The models of the hydraulic broaching machines are from 3 to 80 tons. The models of the servo table art broaching machines are from 5 to 40 tons. In broaching machines, customer approve the part rather than the machines. We have all kinds of instruments to check the sizes, profiles, surface finish, harness, and many uh, other information. We are partners of the suppliers uh, for worldwide big names in automobile and tool and hardware and aerospace industries. Here are some big names, and there are many, many of them. As Cisco's headquarters is in Taiwan, we have a branch office in Michigan, the U.S., and the sales channels running by dealers in more than 30 countries. Okay, if you make these parts, what method will you use, and how much time does it take? Let's see. Uh, all these all these shapes are not easy to make, and especially it might take long time or it's difficult. Broaching will be your best choice. It can be used to make round holes, splines, keyways, six bolt grooves, square holes, hexagonal holes, uh, special shape holes, helical teeth, etc. Make them quickly and precisely. A high level of customization is possible according to various requirements. For example. When processing internal splines, it is necessary to process the entire surface of the complex strip at, sem at one time. When processing helical teeth, the tool needs to rotate synchronously during broaching. And when processing a round hole in an aluminum product, multiple processes such as roughing, finishing, and burnishing can be integrated into one process. You only need one pass to finish off. In this video, we use a transparent sample to show how the broach tool cuts the spline. The broaching needs to be performed by a broaching machine with a broach. And a broach is a tool with many circular blades arranged for, uh, from small to large. Standard broaches, including a shank part for clamping and guiding. A blade part, including roughing teeth and finishing teeth. And at last, the lifting part used to lift the tool. This is a traditional hydraulic broaching machine. The tool moves down during broaching. If the tool length is one meter, the working height where you put the workpiece for about two meters as there has to be room for the tool to go through and spaces for the pulling mechanism and chips. Nowadays, people prefer more advanced solutions in every aspect, including broaching. And this is our main topic for today. Uh, this is also a video of our uh, several servo broaching machines. Now almost 80% of our broaching machine sales is servo table up broaching machines, the electromechanical solution for broaching. It's optimal, as shown on the video. It's optimal for automation for its low working height. In a servo table up broaching machine, the tool does not move during cutting. The working table drives the workpiece upward to complete the broaching. This equipment uses electricity as the primary source of power. 
Compare with a hydraulic broaching machine, a servo broaching machine has better energy efficiency and is more friendly to the environment. All parameters, such as the broaching speed, return speed, stroke, and many other things can be controlled through the human-machine interface. The operator only needs to stand on the ground to operate without digging a pit or standing on stairs. And it's environmental friendly. We already supply to, uh, we always provide more than 300 solutions to customers. Let's see a comparison. On the left side, uh, if you want to lower the working height of a traditional hydraulic machine, maybe you have experience, you will need to put it in a pit. Or uh, like in the middle, uh, you will have a operator needs to stand on the stairs. And while in a servo table approaching machine, the operator can stand on the ground. The working height is the same as other machine tools. So line, line management becomes very easy, and it's also optimal for automation. Either servo or hydraulic broaching machines, um, the dimensional tolerance is all precise. However, if the geometrical tolerance is critical, such as run out, then the servo broaching machine provides more stable results as the broaching retriever holds the broach to reduce vibration during broaching. The program is 100% made by Asisco. One uh, on the right side, the yellow digits tell you the lifter's current position and the job slide current position. The touch panel can operate all the functions on the left side. And the status of the sensors are shown in circles. You can see those circles. We will label them by color so you will know uh, what sensors are triggered and what are not. On the top of this graph, you can save the part number and the tool number in the memory to adjust for the first time. In the future, you only have to recall the memory to start broaching, and all this can be done in seconds. The on and off of the coolant pump, tool, tool cleaning pump, light, chip conveyor, and lubrication is a one-touch setting. The servo load of broaching and the lifter are also visual on this page. Finally, let's conclude this presentation by looking at the advantages. First, the working height is the same as other kinds of machine tools. You don't have to put it in a pit or use the stairs to operate the machine. The integration of automation is super easy. Broaching is, is no longer a high and difficult process to integrate. Second, the machine is with servo motor and ball screw. It performs consistent broaching speed and low vibration then increase the tool life by up to 20% compared with the traditional hydraulic machine. The electromechanical design saves up to 40% electricity. The motor doesn't consume power when there is no load. Even during cutting, the motor only gives the required load, like how advanced air conditioning um, saves energy in your house. The traditional hydraulic broaching machine is like the old air conditioner that always runs at full load consuming unnecessary power. And the human-machine interface make it easy to operate and diagnose the machine. Third, either in servo or hydraulic broaching machines, the dimensional tolerance is all precise. However, if the geometrical tolerance is critical, such as run out, then servo broaching machine provides more stable results as the broach retriever holds the broach to reduce vibration during broaching. Fourth, the broaching speed and stroke can be adjusted and saved in HMI. In hydraulic broach machines, you will need to adjust the position of the sensors. And every time you change a broach to different length, you will need at least to spend about 10 minutes on the adjustments. While in our several broaching machines, all the adjustment is digital and you can save it in the system, you only need some clicks on the touch panel to set up a new tool in seconds. The position of the working table and the lifter, the status of sensors, and the speed and load of the machine are all shown on the interface. You can get the machine's status in one glance. Last, about remote PLC software upgrade, upgrade and diagnosis, we can build a connection from our electrician to your laptop. When there is any problem, we can respond to the customer and help diagnose quickly. Finally, I'm always glad to help if you need any assistance in broaching applications. Asisco is the best smart choice for you. Thank you. Terima kasih.
Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Leon Huang, for that fruitful presentation. Now, I would like to introduce our, I mean, I would like to invite our third presenter for today's webinar, Ms. Juno Wang from Honor Psyche Company Limited to deliver her presentation. Hello, everyone. I'm Juno Wang, sales representative of Honor Psyche. It's my honor to be here to share smart manufacturing of industry solution with you. Now let's look at this outline together. The presentation covers the company introduction, industry solution, and intelligent capability. Let's get started from the introduction. Let's see a video first. From the aerial view, there are five factories with different functions around our headquarters. To improve the efficiency of the semi-finished product, we launched our own machining shop to complete the production arrangement. All plant is with the air conditioning control to ensure the reliability of the accuracy of assembly. And as you can see, these factory are upgraded to by the solar power system to eliminate the carbon emission. Anuseki was founded in 1987. For more than 35 years, we have been concentrating on vertical days and special purpose machines. There are around 172 employees in our company, and more than 50% of the team members are engineers. Undoubtedly, Anuseki is the most professional machine tool provider, which has international certificate and well reputation in the field of CNC vertical days and turnkey solutions in Taiwan. And now here's our production group. The original line is standard machine for quick delivery from 12 inch to 236 inches. The blue one is vertical days for all industry customers. Our industry solution covers from wind energy, aerospace, high speed rail, motor industry, bearing industry, and so on. Honor is able to provide the comprehensive solution from technical proposal, tool selection, feature design to mass production to respond to customer requirement. Here, we have three main product lines to respond to customer demand. S means standard machines, O is customized for special requirements, I is integration and in intelligent. Each of inquiry could be defined through these three principles that help us to reply customer in a short time and get into the technical discussion. Let's move on to the next point, industry solution. We'll start from aerospace. These are our customer experience, including Saffron, Spaces, GE, Acronis, and LPS. You can see our footprints of other machines that are around the world. Honor has installed over 500 states of machines for the aerospace industry. Do you know what components could be processed in our vertical days? Let me tell you, like engine combustor, engine compressor, van, and engine diffuser. Next, what are the pain points for the aerospace processing, especially for nickel alloy and inkle nail materials? The first one is chip breaking. The material of workpiece is hard to break the chips. To solve this problem, we offer high pressure coolant as the solution. Second is long downtime. We provide APC, which is able to set up and calibrate the workpiece on the outside pallet during machining. This enhances the utilization. Third, unable to inspect in time. Other machine is equipped with online measuring system, which support change of tool without turning off the machine. It also prompts feedback from a live measuring system to improve the product yield. This indeed saves a lot of time for customers. Last but not least is high blade wear. Because the consumption of the insert is very high, we have various tools to monitor the tool usage. As mentioned above, we provide a comprehensive solution for these concerns. From the two year 2000 to the present, we have made a uh, continuous evolution and launched new machines to increase the tool life and mostly its processing efficiency for our customer. The machining time of the VL100CA is 25 to 30% less than our earliest model by its unique APC system. 
and this VL100CA is equipped with high pressure coolant, which could up, go up to 350 bar to solve the issues of hard to braid the chips of titanium alloy and inconel parts to extend to a life. The machine has just won the Taiwan SLN Award 2023. It's very honored to share this good news with you. Next, the main market is oil and gas industry. Here's our experience in oil and gas industry. Anand has rich experience to collaborate with leading companies. This is a typical application of Christmas tree in oil and gas industry. We could offer different types of machine for kinds of workpiece from southern block, casing, body, to flange. The high precision side hole processing and the eccentric side hole processing of the valves are commonly seen and a big tax in, oil, in the oil and gas industry. On a large PL series machine with advantage of efficiency, flexible manufacturing and engineering intensive design to solve this problem. How do we achieve this? You could see how does the machine works per each axis here. Here's the highlight of our machines. The PL series machine is a high rigidity vertical lathe based on gantry type with wide axis mechanism and collect multi-functions which can cover the processing requirements by the vertical lathe, the gantry type machine, and even the horizontal machining center at the same time to achieve done in one requirement. For an example, the boiling and turning process are originally required to configuration, which can in be integrated into one PL machine to complete the process, while the side meaning is available as well. With the patented clamping system solid lock, this machine is able to support high clamping force up to 10 tons. To meet the requirement of improving the cycle time, we develop auto index feature to st speed up the process. In the machining process, it starts from inside diameter processing and then threading and threading. After that, auto index will change the position and then reprocessing. Now, let's look at this comparison together. The left side is traditional way. We can easily find out the advantage from our de design. The traditional feature takes around 140 minutes for only loading the process because customer need to unclamp the workpiece and then move it out and reloading a new one. It takes a lot of time for manual operation while our auto index feature only takes five and to 10 minutes to complete a new one. Our design improved the cycle time greatly by 68%. In order to respond to Industry 4.0, Arnold has made on stock development and moved toward to intelligent vertical lathes with added value functions to assist customer access the field of smart manufacturing. Because the pandemic outbreak has caused a shortage of manpower, this is a critical issue recently. However, no worries, Arnold intelligent support can help you process the workpiece easily to create a quick win-win situation. First, we would like to introduce you is the RFID tool management. This can prevent installing wrong tools or forgetting to install the tool during processing. All the information of the tool is recorded in the RFID tag on the tool holder, and the tool information is automatically inspected by the RFID system. With the RFID tool management, it can reduce the human error and the tool replacement time. It's very essential because of the cost of tool and workpiece of the processing is much expensive. Next, recently we launched CPS option to optimize the productivity, eliminate the risk of labor shortage, and reach intelligent manufacturing integration. From the developing and simulation the workpiece process, parameter adjustment rig, and risk awareness and optional the utilization. These advantages are the digital twin that could bring to customers. It's also another way to approach carbon zero in response to the future trend. We think an SSM machine is not just with a good mechanism design, but need to be user-friendly. Hence, we develop user 
interface to assist customers to get into the processing much more quickly. This is the sample for railway industry. How does customer check the current production status? Our line management system is a good assistant for you. By using TLM, the supervisors can follow up the production status and the OEE to optimize the production, state, pr production lines. Today, net zero emission is a critical issue. We are not only an industry solution provider, but provides an energy consumption and analyze to help customers calculate their daily and monthly, even total energy consumption during processing. Okay, thank you for your listening. As our slogan, honor to be your partner. Honor Seki is always ready to move forward with you. For more information, please visit our website and LinkedIn fan page. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Uh, Juno Wang, for that interesting presentation just now. Okay, now we are, uh, we're not going to begin with our Q&A session, but before that, I would like to inform that there will be Taiwan International Intelligent Manufacturing Show Exhibition on 23rd to 25th of November at Tainan, Taiwan. This exhibition will focus on system integration, data analysis, and information security. A full lineup of events, including O2O procurement, matchmaking, live broadcasting, international forum seminar, and more will be showcased in this uh, exhibitions. So if any one of you is interested, can you register by scan the QR code as displayed in this slide to join the exhibition. I will give a few minutes for those to, to scan the QR code to get more informa information regarding this um, exhibition. Okay, now. We're now going to begin with uh, our training session. But uh, before that, um, I would like to inform everyone to kindly complete uh, the survey form by scan the QR code as displayed in this slide or click the link in the chat box. Please do submit the survey form once you have completed to allow the panelists to email recording of today's webinar. Now, um, without further ado, we will now begin uh, answering questions that has been uh, submitted uh, by the participants. Uh, I see that uh, some of the participants have raised their hands. So if any of you have uh, questions uh, to the speakers, uh, you may kindly type in your questions in the q and box at the bottom of your screen. We will give... Um... We will give more time for participants to uh, insert their questions in the q and box. Has anyone, um, does anyone have any questions? You may kindly uh, fill in your questions into the uh, Q&A box below.
Um, okay. Um, I see there's one question. Okay. Um, what is the sales ratio between servo broaching machine and hydraulic uh, machines? Um, I'm going to give this question to Mr. Leon from Cisco to answer this uh, question. Okay. No, oh, thanks. Oh, Thank thanks. you. Um, um, about the ratio, I will say now. Uh, for now, it's about uh, servo to uh, hydraulic. It will be eighty versus twenty percent. So actually. Out of uh, every 10 machines we sell, there are eight machines are servo broach machines. And I think if you have experience, uh, if you ever see the broach machine, most of them are hydraulic. But uh, we make the first servo broach machine in 2011. Initially, the, the customers are from more advanced countries like uh, Europe or, or the US because they have more strict environmental rules and they are looking for something pure electrical. And but now, actually, I would say that uh, in 2016, it is it's the first year that the servo models bypass the traditional hydraulic models, and it increased year by year. And now, not only the customer from from Europe and US, but also uh, companies from from like from from Southeast Asia, from from Asia, from uh, from India, from many different countries. Actually, almost everywhere. Uh, now, people are looking for um, for they can save time in learning and setting. You only set once, and it requires less floor spaces, and the machine is not so high. And also, it's easier to integrate with automation. So there are many other benefits that makes the long-term cost of broaching manufacturing uh, become very low, much lower than the traditional hydraulic broaching machine. So I would say now we are selling not our all if you see our sales, 80% or more are uh, servo broaching machines. If you come to our factory now, you will see most of them are, <laughs> are servo broaching machines. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Leon, for that answer. So um, I see uh, part participants are raising their hands. So if any of you have uh, questions, you may um, type in your questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. Um, okay, uh, there's also another one question. Um, is the honor system incorporate with a manufacturer's existing machine or the user have to invest the whole new system? Mm, I think this is for Miss Juno. Is the honor system incorporate with manufacturer's existing machine or the user have to invest the whole new system? Uh, well, it depends because all of our uh, intelligent elements could be customized according to your demand. For example, if you want to do the AIoT with sensors, we could have a face-to-face -face discussion or online discussion for your requirement. Then after that, we'll decide according to your demand. Then before shipping, we'll install the software with the PLC and deliver the machine to you. And after that, when the machine is installed completely, and we'll make some SOP for you to for those uh, intelligent elements. Is that okay for you? Um, I hope that this answers your questions. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Juno. Now, does anyone have uh, any questions because there are people raising hands? Kindly type in your questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen.
Um, okay, uh, there's one question. Um, okay. If it becomes difficult to travel internationally again, like the situation we faced, uh, in 2020 uh, until 2022, how can customers inspect their machines if they give uh, orders to you? I think I will pass this question to Mr. Leon. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I, I think this, this will not be a problem for most of the machine makers in Taiwan because we are very well trained by the pandemic <laughs> already. And and now we optimize the whole process is like uh, let's let's break into three three uh three parts one is before before you you uh, you make your decision of buying machine from me and second is uh the process when we are making the machine how we how we uh, communicate with each other and let you feel comfortable of what we do and the last how to do inspection and installation if the international traveling is not possible because we hope the pandemic is, is over but who knows? <laughs> so first is uh, before, if you go on our website, you can see a VR showroom. We put our machines and we uh, there are a lot of videos on YouTube and there are uh, VR showroom on our website. And we also have, we also have a, a remote, um, like a, a remote, uh, let's say remote showing process that we can, uh, we put cameras in our, in our, uh, in our factory. So I can travel you to the every uh, every part of, of our factory to to let you feel comfortable and and feel that that is trustworthy to to do deals with us. And when you are, when we are running the when we are doing the when we are making the machines after we get older, uh, first is the like the weekly update uh, will be uh, we we depend not only on email but also some uh, software like Notion and like uh, Trello. And those those are and, and so we can do. It's like we can uh, do this project together, and we are transparent to customer. You just follow the link. You click the link, and you can know uh, what is the progress of the machine. And and at last, during during inspection, actually the remote ins inspection can be even better than you send the people here because if you send the people here and he is not a real user, normally the people come here is uh, either the purchase from purchase or quality or the false him or him or herself but if the people who come to check the machine is not the people who run the machine uh, there will be problem of communication and all these problems will be eliminated when we do a remote inspection because everyone just click a link and they can see uh, five different angles of the machine and they can ask any any question and we can prove it real time so everyone uh, involved with the project say if, if, if they are Four people in your company need to know about this project, and all of them will have the same information input. There will no, uh, there will be no bias uh, from passing the information from one people to another. So that that's how we did, and how although the pandemic seems over and the international national traveling is back, but we are still running uh, the remote inspection pr process for most of our, our customers before they come here, so they can save a lot of time and they can get a lot of confirm uh, before they visit us. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Leon, for that answer. So uh, anyone have um, any more questions that you want to ask uh, to the speakers? If you have any questions, uh, again, I would like to remind uh, to type in your questions at the Q&A box below. Um, okay, um, there's one question. Um, as the threat from climate change grows, uh, net zero has become a hot topic around the world. Did Honor Psyche invest in any greener products or machine? I would like to pass this to Ms. Juno. 
uh, to answer this um, question? Yes, absolutely. Uh, as our presentation previously, we have uh, energy consumption software to help cu customer to calculate their uh, energy consumption because uh, uh, our concept is the key is not at the final stage for finished product. It should be planned at the initial stage. So not only the software we have, but we have um, 20 engineering to help customer to check their uh, carbon emission, like uh, from work uh, machine selection and um, uh, operation, operation planning and tool fixture design to the uh, uh, processing design. And through this discussion with our customers, and we can help you help you to know the uh, carbon emi emission from the whole process. So uh, we have um, a portal solution for our customer to check in the green, machi uh, green machine industry. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Juno, for, for the answer. Um, so anyone? Um, okay, there's one question. Um, you got so many broaching machines. How do I know which model best fits my requirement? Um, I think I'm going to pass this to Mr. Leon. Okay, thank you. Um, that's a very good question. Uh, actually, uh, buying a broaching machine is opposite. Uh, compared to your experience in buying a standard machine. Normally you buy a machine, then you decide what you can make on the machine, then what is the picture and tool you need to apply. But in broach machine, it's more like a customized machinery. First is, what is the part you want to make? And what is the tolerance you want? And what is the production requirement? Then for this, what kind of fixture and tool has to be fit? Then eventually, it comes how big <laughs> What is the tonnage of the machine you require? So uh, we supply the turnkey solution with the machines and the fixtures and toolings. And all you have to do is prepare, uh, prepare your uh, part drawing and your production requirement to let me know. So uh, when we are, uh, when we are uh, supplying a machine, we're not only selling a machine. It's, it's more like work as a consultant to help you to improve your production. So just send a drawing and we will do the follow for you. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Leon. Um, so if anyone have any questions, um, I've also mentioned in the chat box um, as well, uh, kindly uh, type in your questions uh, in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. And also while waiting uh, for participants to type in uh, their questions, I would like to remind everyone to please scan in the QR code and uh, fill, to fill in uh, the survey form. Uh, this is to allow the panelists to email you recording of uh, today's webinar. Um, okay. Um, there is uh, one question. Um, what are the industries that you cater to and which among them is your biggest profit generator? I would like to pass this to uh, Ms. Juno. Actually, we have diverse customer ranges from traditional industry to the high-end industry. So for us, uh, we are not only focusing on one industry, uh, we have wide ranges as our introduction from the aerospace, wind energy, and the railway industry, and so on. But for us, uh, as fo follow the market, tr market trend, we think the next 
focus will be uh, wind en energy industry and aerospace for our future de development. Because recently we received a lot of inquiry from these two industries. So, from your questions, what are the industries that we cater and which among them is your biggest profit generator? I think every industry is very important for us. So, next, uh, what we can share with you is the next point will be focused on wind energy and um, aerospace. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Juno, for, for the answer. So does anyone have any other questions? Um, I think that's all uh, from the audience. Okay, I would like to thank Okay, thank you everyone. On uh, behalf of uh, FMM and Taiwan Excellence, uh, I would like to thank everyone for uh, participating in this webinar. But again, I would like to again remind everyone to please take a few minutes to complete uh, the survey form by scanning the QR code. Um, this uh, will uh, allow the panelists to email copy uh, recording of today's webinar. Thank you everyone again uh, for attending today's webinar toward metal processing 4.0 level up your production with smart solution. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, please contact Ms. Uh, Jessica uh, from Taiwan Excellence. Uh, I will provide her contact details in my thank you email that will be provided within two working days. And on behalf of uh, Taiwan Excellence and also FMM and our presenter, I would like to thank you everyone for joining us today and have a great day.